Hi, Jason Canal GQ Barbecue. Today I've got two very special things to show you guys. The first is going to be the savory, smoky, succulent Cubano stuffed pork loin. It's going to be absolutely delicious. The second, my good friend Chris Gentry from Gentry's Barbecue is going to show you how to do that. If you want to see how, it's coming up right now. Here at GQ Barbecue, we are all about the grilling and chilling lifestyle. If that's something that interests you, smash down that subscription button and you won't miss any of our videos. So I've been active on Instagram for a little over a year or so. For anybody not following me, give me a follow at Jason Ganahl. On Instagram is where I met Chris Gentry. We've been texting probably about nine months or so. He said he was gonna be out in Denver over the July 4th weekend. I said, you gotta come by, we gotta do a video together. Chris, what are we gonna be doing today? We are making a Cubano stuffed pork loin. Uh, Cuban food is one of my favorite things to eat. I'm from Florida, so we're gonna combine those two things and make one of these things that's absolutely delicious. Chris, I love Cubanos, I love pork loins. I cannot wait to see what you do. I'm excited. Today we're using the Gateway drums and we filled up the basket about three quarters of the way full. We had some residual charcoal left over from our last cook. We used a little fire starter, uh, put some coal on top of that to get the fire going. When you place that fire basket inside of the Gateway drum, be sure not to hold it over the middle of the basket. You want to hold it to the right or the left side just so you don't burn your hand put the top on. We want to run these gateway drums pretty hot and hot in barbecue world is about 300 to 325 degrees. So I got a full pork loin that I've cut in half already and what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice this right down the middle just like that all right. Then you're gonna slice those two halves again. The purpose behind this is so we can basically pound this meat down in order to stuff this into a sandwich and it gives it the ability to roll. We're gonna take this silver skin off of the back. So you wanna use a good boning knife to get up underneath of this silver skin. Make sure your knife is sharp. Just get all this fatty tissue off of this pork loin. Okay, so once we've trimmed this pork loin, what we wanna do is take some saran wrap and cover it. And then we're gonna pound it out and flatten it so it gives, so we've got the ability to not only stuff it, but roll it once it's stuffed, okay? So we got the saran wrap and today I'm using a uh, rubber mallet, but um, just use something that's heavy so you can pound out the meat. What we've got now is our flattened pork loin. So we need to start building our Cubano stuffed pork loin. First, we take some of our smokestack barbecue rub, which is an all-purpose rub, and we just season the inside of this pork loin and rub it all in there. It's good and tasty. Second, we're taking our Kakalaki gold mustard sauce, and this sauce just won first place at Memphis in May, okay? So it's the number one sauce in the world. Next, we're gonna take Swiss cheese and start layering our Cuban sandwich. I usually put about five to six pieces, depending on how long the pork loin is. We're gonna follow that up with some nice deli ham. Very simple, put that right on top of the cheese. And we're gonna do a couple layers of this so it's nice and fat, a big old sandwich. So once I've got the deli ham on, I'm gonna go to my ham bone barbecue seasoning, which has got a little bit of spice to it. It's a brown sugar base with a bunch of stuff that you would put in a pumpkin pie. It's got a little heat on the back end with some cayenne and some cinnamon. Great on all things pork. Next, we're gonna continue to build the sandwich with some hamburger dill chips. the essence of a good Cuban sandwich. You've got pork, usually roasted pork. You've got ham, Swiss cheese, dill pickles, and a great mustard. And now it's ready for tying. All right, so what's next is in order to wrap this or roll this into a Cuban sandwich, we've got to use some, some butcher's twine, okay? And then what I think is important is I tie a little knot 
towards the end. And just pull everything through, like so. And that'll give me a starting point when I can wrap the, the pour point. You want to take your string and just slide it right underneath the, the end of the pork loin there. Get your knot in your finger here, finger hold on that, and then just run the rest of the string all the way through. And you've got enough there that you're going to be able to tie this thing off just like a shoe. And you want to pull tight and then continue to tie this thing all the way down the loin. So it's everything inside is staying nice and tight. So you don't want it to fall apart when you slice into it. Let me just tie it off on the end. Okay, so our last step here is to just season the outside of the Cubano stuffed pork loin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our smokestack that we already used for the first layer of the sandwich, or the roll for that matter, and then just re-season the outside. You want all those flavors to cook through. Look at all that cheese popping through, ham, pickles. This thing looks and smells delicious when it is on the smoker. All right, the gateway is up to temperature, so we put our Cubano stuffed pork loin on and that's gonna roll 60 to 70 minutes. What we're shooting for is an internal temperature of about 145. All right, let's pull this baby off. Remember, we got a Cubano stuffed pork loin going on this gateway drum. Let's see how we're doing. Man, that looks great. We got beautiful color from that smokestack barbecue rub. Let's check the internal temperature of this. Right about 145, that's where we wanna be. We'll bring it over here and we'll start slicing. Look at that cheese oozing out of it. How good does that look? See how juicy that is? You got your cheese bubbling, all those pickles, all those flavors are combining. So we're gonna slice this to serve, just like that. So if you enjoyed this video, click Jason's face, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I had a great time being here and we'll see you on the next one.